How much garbage do we make? Morning, Scott. Morning. How you doing? Good. How about yourself? Good. Was it pretty busy this morning? Yeah, pretty much. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank we'll you. see you again. All right. Good morning. It is Tuesday and I'm here at the yard. There's a little bit of a breeze. It's about 29 degrees. It's not too cold. Uh, it is supposed to warm up today pretty nicely. I think it's supposed to be in the 40s uh, today. So not bad for Wisconsin just before Thanksgiving. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to work on this salt bin. So last year I started working on this salt bin and uh, I put a bunch of blocks around. I poured some concrete down here because I lost my rental space which is over the fence there and uh, so I need to bring all my bulk salt over here and I got this far last fall and never got any farther. The intention was originally I built this to a size where I was going to build it into a hoop house uh, with an enclosure. So now that I've sold most of my snow plowing off I'm not going to invest in a hoop house. It just doesn't make any sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish putting the blocks up uh, as much as needed because I need much less salt this year than I ever have in the past. So the size of this bin is something that I would have needed last year. We would have filled this thing all the way out to the end with salt. But I'm probably just going to do a couple loads at a time, a couple quad axles at a time. So I'm going to get started on this. It's going to be quite a bit of work actually because all the blocks are way back there. I need to cart them all the way around to here with the skid loader. I don't have my track machine yet. It's still being repaired, believe it or not. I'm going to get the other skid steer down and get to work and uh, winter is coming. It could snow any day. I'm actually late doing this. All right, first thing we need to do is see if the old International starts up. This is actually an old truck. It's a 1999. It has a great motor. Uh, you guys that are familiar with diesel engines and big trucks have heard of a DT-466. This is actually the, the DT-530. Great motors, but I need to pull this truck ahead to get the skid steer off so we can move these blocks. That being said, I am very confident that this truck will start. Twenty-nine degrees. It started up like it was seventy degrees. All right, so I'm gonna get this dirt out of the way. I'll load that on the international tandem. Then I'm gonna take these blocks, set them to the side, because I actually have to drive through here with the skid loader. And that's my old salt bin there. So those are the blocks I'm gonna use. I'll just pluck them one by one, drive them around, stack them up over there. And I'm going to call my supplier and see when I can get some bulk salt. All right, I'm going to put the beak attachment on. That thing works really good for moving these big blocks around. Okay. Somebody just decided to throw a whole bunch of tires in here. Semi tires. <laughs> Which, oh, yeah, yeah. This property back here got sold. And when the gate's unlocked, people come in here and just dump all kinds of junk. So apparently somebody just came here and dumped a bunch of junk.
All right, we got our little opening. Now I'm gonna start carting these blocks around there and stacking them up. Should be pretty easy. My neighbors are doing the same thing. They have a salt bin over there. They're disassembling theirs as well. I don't know who dumped all this garbage here, but I do have a lot of security cameras and I could find out, but I'm not gonna waste my time. All right, so that's about as far as I'm gonna come out. This side is done. I'm just gonna bring this side out about as far as this side. Obviously, if you've noticed, these blocks are absolutely terrible. Whoever poured these really wasn't thinking about quality. They're different lengths, different widths. They're very bumpy. Uh, I mean, you can see even that block there. It's just, it's terrible. But it is just a salt bin. All it has to do is contain salt. So it'll work. So what I'll do then is I'll, I'll tap con a two by six on the top of that wrapped in a tarp. We'll unroll the tarp over the salt and call it good. It's never fun playing around with a tarp with a foot of snow on it in the middle of a snowstorm. But like I said, I don't have that much snow plowing anyway this winter. So we'll survive. And it just wasn't worth a $5,000 for a hoop house and then all the labor that it takes to actually build it i mean next winter who knows i might not do any snow plowing at all if uh you know if the tour works out and i'm able to do it next winter and it's successful this winter uh, i might just give up all the plowing and focus all my attention on other businesses but we will see what happens this winter All right, so I know some of you are probably wondering about the tour and that is gonna start next week I'm gonna enjoy the Thanksgiving holiday with my family I may even do some hunting with my oldest son not sure about that yet uh, but we are going to uh, do a little bit of traveling starting next week
All right, that's way heavier than I can lift. <laughs> I'll have to use the bucket for that. I thought I was just gonna lift that right onto the top of the blocks. Nope, not today. Ran right over my cone. I just cleaned out just the first little area here it doesn't make sense to sweep this whole thing off because I'm gonna drag a bunch of stuff back in so I'm gonna start carting the salt in here that was pretty dusty I'm sure my lungs didn't appreciate that sorry lungs Yeah, no problem, man. Whatever you need. There you go. What's up, man? How you doing? Great. I got this tool here. I don't know what I should call them. Hang on, hang on a second. Let me stop laughing. I got this tool here. I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> all right. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. All right. This is all I got. I just got like this brush thing, and I, I don't know. It's a new construction. I'm making this walkway here. All right. It's like I don't know what to do next. Is this good? I don't know when to start edging. I got that edger thing. <laughs> are you joke? Are you? Is this a joke? Tell me the truth. I, I promise you. It's not a joke. <laughs> do you have an edger? Let me see your tools again. Yeah, go back over by the concrete. Bring the float with you and the edger. What state are you in? I'm in Massachusetts. I'm All right. Well, I can't. I can't come and help you then. <laughs> okay. Take your mag. Yeah, that's the mag. Now use. Okay. Use the front edge of the mag and scrape the 2x4 clean. No, nope, just use the tip of the mag. Okay, just like this? Just the front edge and just, no, nope, turn it vertically. Turn it vertically. Okay, that's fine. Now grab your edger. Okay. This thing, the big one or the small one? Stick? Uh, I can't. The big one, definitely the big one. Put it right against the 2x4 and push it down. Push it down. Okay, it's down. Lift okay. up a little? Yep, lift up a little and now run it right, keep it against the 2x4 and run it. Okay. Or right, go back and forth. Don't go just one direction. Now now tilt it the other way and go back the other way. No, nope, okay. you didn't you didn't tilt it up enough. That's why you gouged oh, it. Sorry. Hey, so there's a guy in Massachusetts. He's just FaceTime me. He poured concrete. He has no idea what he's doing. And I'm giving him step-by-step -step instructions. <laughs> Tomorrow morning you're gonna have to saw cut the control joints in. <laughs> the seams in the concrete you have to put seams in that sidewalk or it's going to crack all over the place yes so cut one control joint right off that corner in both directions one yep yep one that way one that way okay that's good for there and then split the rest of the sidewalk up into three equal sections only saw cut about an inch down don't saw cut all the way through make sure you facetime me later because i really need to see what you got going on there all right, see you, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bye. He's like, I just poured a sidewalk, but we have no idea what we're doing. And then he shows me a pile of brand new tools with the stickers on it. He's like, I got this tool here, and I got this tool here. Very funny, man. All right, my oldest son just brought me some lunch. They had a really good, like, turkey dinner. It's almost Thanksgiving, so the grade school, the elementary school where my kids go. They put on a little dinner. So that was delicious. I'm going to keep bringing the salt over. And I got probably about 10, 12 buckets left. And then we're done here.
All right, I'm leaving the yard. I got done what I needed to get done. Uh, tomorrow, I'll tap kind of two by six down to the top of the block, tarp this off. I'm not gonna be able to get more loads of salt until after Thanksgiving sometime next week. Uh, but I'll, I'll bring those in next week, not a big deal. But I really needed to get those blocks out and my salt from the back lot because that lot actually got sold. And if I didn't get that out of there right away, I would lose my access to it. So I am uh, glad to get that done today. All right, well, I'm headed to my landscape supply company. I'm gonna see when I can get some salt in. I don't know if the owner's there, it's a friend of mine. But anyway, I'm gonna get that set up. And then I'm going to go to a couple of restaurants. We have been looking for people to help and it's, it's not easy finding people that genuinely need help. I'm going to go to a restaurant or two and see if I can talk to a manager and ask if they have any first-hand knowledge of any of their servers that might be in need. Um, hopefully some that have children, uh, just so we can make the Christmas a little bit better. All right, this is complete lawn and landscape supply. This is my buddy Pete. He does really well. Uh, he used to be a landscaper, but now he just does retail. Uh, basically landscape supplies, chemicals, fertilizers, um, seeds, and then in the winter time he does a lot of salt, a lot of bag salt, a lot of bulk salt. He supplies a lot of the local landscapers around here with salt and uh, he runs a really good business. All right, nobody's here. Everything's free today. All right, somebody's in the bathroom, so when he comes out, I'm gonna act like he's the customer. Hi, guys. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? <laughs> he thinks I work here. What can I get for you? I uh, have uh, some, uh, some stuff I gotta dump over here. Oh, okay. Uh, the dumping fees are right here. What do you got? I think he, he, he knows. Oh, he knows? Oh, uh, you know where you're dumping? Yeah. Oh, go ahead. But I gotta pay. Oh, uh, it's free for you. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> you employee, huh? I don't work here. Yeah. I was just sitting here because nobody was around. I was like, where is everybody? Oh, all right. Can you have him call me? Yeah. I gotta get some bulk delivered. Oh, okay. All right. Pete was not here. I'm gonna have him call me later. Actually, I never mentioned this, but I poured this parking lot here. This portion of the parking lot it was like 80 yards last summer I was supposed to do more of it in the back this summer but we just ran out of time so hopefully next year we'll see all right I'm gonna try this restaurant first I always feel awkward walking into places and recording and sometimes they don't want you to record but we'll see what happens hello hi do you have a uh, do you have a manager I could talk to um, sure. I have a question for you so my my subscribers um, donated some money uh, for me to give away. Can I leave you my number when yeah. you just want to call yeah. me? It doesn't have to be today, okay. you know, but I'll just leave you my number. If you think of somebody, um, you know, I, I just, I think it would be me. That's yeah, all. that'd be a nice so, gesture. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I'm telling you guys, it's not easy to give money or give anything away responsibly. It's very difficult. I've actually struggled all summer long uh, to find charity projects, deserving people. And you don't want to just like walk up to somebody that, you know, looks like they could use it and give them money because I use that word responsible for a reason. If somebody, you know, has addictions and you're feeding their addiction, you know, with what you just gave them, you really don't want to do that either. Uh, ideally you want to find somebody that's trying, you know, somebody that's working hard, they're doing what they can, but they're still struggling a little bit. And it's not as easy as you think it might be. But I think this might work if I continue to go around to restaurants. Uh, it doesn't sound like she had anybody. I'm gonna give some money away if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> All right, restaurant number two. I actually love this restaurant. The first restaurant was in Milwaukee and this restaurant is in Brookfield. Is there a manager I could speak with? Some of my subscribers actually donated some money for me to give away. So I'm trying to find somebody that is trying, somebody that's working hard, actually putting in effort, but is still struggling a little bit. Um, I thought maybe a manager would know of somebody that might 
really be able to use a little extra something for Christmas. It's not thousands of dollars, but it's right. it's considerable where we'll definitely put Christmas presents under the tree. Everybody around here is pretty well established. Mm. Okay. There's one more place I'm gonna try today, and then I really need to get home. I gotta work on some office stuff. Restaurant number three. How many restaurants do you think it'll take for somebody to say, oh, I know just the person? Hey, that's pretty cool. They put up one of our Christmas flyers from our church. All uh, right, can I speak with the manager? My subscribers gave money. They donated money to give to somebody uh, for Christmas. I mean, so, all of the servers are struggling, so. Can I leave my number if you want to think about it? You yeah. can give me a call. Yeah. Can I, I'll just write it down. Well, there's probably a best one though. Yeah. I don't have that yeah. much money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, kids would be another thing to take in consideration okay. if they have children, that would be. Yeah, that's. Because you know, that. it's mostly for Christmas. Okay, so. all right. So all right, good. thank you very much. Thank you, yeah. Yep. All right, so we went from one restaurant saying that nobody is struggling at all, and then she did think of one person, to this restaurant where she said everybody's struggling. <laughs> and we're only like a couple miles apart. All right, restaurant number four. I changed my mind. I was going to stop at three, but try one more. Hey, look, they got one of our Christmas program flyers, too. That's pretty cool. Hi. Right. What's up, buddy? Are you the manager? Yeah, yeah what would you need? Are you the manager, yeah. really? Oh, good. Hey, I got a question for you. So, you know, a significant tip for maybe just to help out with Christmas or something like that. All right, thank you, man. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. Yep. You too. Thank you. Yep. All right, so that's it for today. I'm headed home. Stopped at four restaurants, and I'll just wait for one of their phone calls. I'm sure something will work out. All right, I will see you guys in the morning. Adios.